Jaya! Jaya! <laughs> I'm trying to get her to say Jaya every time. She goes, no, I'm not going to say your mantras. I have my own mantras. <laughs> what, does, what, does, what do your mantras sound like? <clears throat> ah! Like, uh, <laughs> you know what the topic for this video is? Women be wild. And uh, do you know what wild is? Are you wild? How uh, wild are you? I think I'm wild in my own way. I think everyone has their own way of being wild. Yeah. Wild can also be quiet really yeah and loud you're loud yeah well I, everything i heard you scream when you're in the river there <laughs> it's it feels like it's not yet fully unleashed but uh, yeah what happens when you take women into their wild side they feel like they're not a domesticated animal anymore not domesticated <laughs> anymore you hear that guys uh <laughs> that's really interesting <laughs> because uh you know when when you know you see this woman she She's really juicy, right? Look at her. She's like radiating gorgeous energy. And so you meet a woman like that, of course, you're going to be attracted to this wild beast animal inside of her, you know, erotic um, explosion of, of energy. And then you go like, okay, guess what? Now you are my girlfriend. And as my girlfriend, here's how I want you to behave. And so it's a domestication process that starts reducing all this wild side into oh, something that we can handle because <clears throat> non-threatening and, uh, and safe for, me, for men to be around. Guess what? <laughs> what am I going to do with her if I do that? I'm going to kill her. I'm going to fucking destroy what attracts me to her in the first place. So as a man, you know, instead of being like, here's what I want you to do if, if you and I are going to be in a relationship, here's how I want you to behave, etc. blah, 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 blah. You have all these rules and all these expectations. Well, I mean, this is what human beings are doing to each other in general. It's not just men. No, exactly. You know, men and women, they start to control each other and try and mold one another in the way that they would like their partner to be without actually accepting their partner yeah. the way that they are. Yeah. You know, and when we love someone, we usually love them for what they give us and not for who they are. Yeah, exactly. You know, and this is where all the trouble starts to come through. And exactly. All the domestication and control and manipulation starts yeah. to come through in relationship. Yeah, that sucks, right? It really sucks. Are you manipulative? Yeah, I'm manipulative. Yeah. Give me that. <laughs> I'm a human being. <laughs> five shadows. What are your four or five shadows? Control, lying, manipulation, um, trying to cultivate a good self-image oh as a role model. I'm completely falling in love with you. And right <laughs> um, I don't know what my last shadow is. Maybe you can tell me what my one of my shadows are. You talk a lot. I talk a lot. <laughs> yeah. So why do you talk a lot? Um, to try and get validation and approval. Yeah, and uh, it's safe to be in the brain. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, you see, the thing that is really interesting is that uh, when she exposes her shadows, that's that's really beautiful because then we go like, wow, you're exposing yourself, and we can love absolutely everything about her instead of just the part that we feel comfortable with. The part that makes me feel like I will be validated and approved if I wear a particular self-image. Yeah, exactly. So here we go to wild women. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, especially, you know, guys out there who are listening to this, um, keep your women wild. You know, it's keep them wild. So how do you keep them wild? Uh, instead of, uh, of locking them in within the models of what feels safe to you, invite them to make it unsafe, invite them to make it real, invite them to be, uh, to be in their pure uh, wildest possible expression. And that means freedom. It's like if I go like, oh, I love you, I want, you know, come here, you know, it's like instead you go like, I love you, I want to open space around you, I want to release all the tension and all the frames and I want to be a space holder for that, for that freedom. No matter how challenging it will be with me, you know. And I mean, we are not in a relationship; we are just playing here. But, <laughs> uh, but uh, it's uh, you know, it's the idea of um, of creating this liberation. And uh, I can tell you that as a man, it can be it can be freaking scary because having a woman being really unleashed in her power is like, whoa, you know, you completely lose control over over that. And so, but at the same time, this is what is going to bring the highest juice and the this highest... what's going to bring love. Yeah, and <laughs> love, love and not, respect. Not conditioned love, but love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Let's scream again soon. We are going down into the river in a moment to fucking <laughs> blast activating ourselves in the, in the waterfalls. And it's so much fun to have you here. Ow! <laughs>
We love you. Bye bye. <laughs>